Hello, uh, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and today a user scenario sent in by Sir Cormalis. Um And it is the Emperor of Japan against the, well, what the US Pacific fleet could scrounge together. A surface action group which is being taken on by Yamato and Musashi. So, uh, my instructions were to build a something along the lines of Yamato. Um, so I could go for the 90s. Tell you what, let's go for a modern battleship and max it out. Uh, and this will be Yamato. Uh, I'm not going to do a historical build though. Um, I do love the Super Pagoda. Go for the modern secondary tower four. Actually, can I do the medium sized one? Yeah. It's kind of. There we go, 86,000 tons. We're going to need a. I think it's in the enlarged. And the classic. 18 inch triple guns. And we have an half weight offset. Okay, so I want to move that to about here. There we go. Lovely stuff. Okay, and then we need to get a funnel. I'm pretty sure the super funnel medium is the only one that actually fits. Uh, Pagoda Life. Yep. <laughs> uh, this one is being recorded live on Twitch. If you're wondering who I'm talking to, I'm not talking to myself. Um, let's go with the five inch secondaries there. And two inch everywhere else. Ah, I need to uh, separate towers a little bit. No. Really? It's the opposite of what I wanted you to do. Uh, just wanted a little bit of a gap. go. Alright. And I might actually just leave it at that. It's got quite clean, clean lines if I do that. Um, just rely on that secondary battery. Uh, pitch and roll are excellent on the ship and it is perfectly balanced. So yeah, I think, I think that's quite, quite a good way of going about it. Uh, perfect balance, exactly. It won't be, well, it probably won't be perfect once I get into all this stuff down here. So, let's go with uh, marine diesels, oil, forced. That'll let me do the 26 knots. Um... Get the engine upgrades. See, we don't want the thing to sink. Hmm. Starting to run up against weight problems now. Uh, I'll probably go for high TNT. Standard shells should be fine. And that leaves me 5% left. Can you get many bulkheads? I could. I'm going to go for standard, I think. And I'm going to go down to anti torpedo 4. And I'm going to slap on some armor.
Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Bit more tower. There we go. Uh, that should be a effective ship, I think. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And it is actually perfectly balanced, which is nice. Um, to actually get a perfectly balanced ship. No! Ah, oh, game! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Game's taking a while to do the building. Let's see what the game gives us. Ooh! They're actually big battleships. That's interesting. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Heavy cruisers and light cruisers look pretty sensible on the American side. But, um... What? Where's that battle cruiser? The um, Kamikawa Maru has been taking notes from my uh, nine-inch builds. <laughs> That's just an enormous heavy cruiser. But what? What? Why? You imagine being stationed in that uh, B turret. Like, why are we so high up, guys? Guys. <laughs> Okay. Uh, light cruisers. Okay. Uh, what was their bulk kits? Max. Oh, that's nice. Maximum bulk kits on the uh, battle cruiser as well. Not on the destroyers, but they're okay. Okay, let's put the destroyers t together. I'm just going to put the battle cruiser in with the light cruisers. Um. Line screen scout. I'm actually going to put those on uh, follow. And these guys on screen. Okay. Lovely stuff. So we have Yamato and Hiryo. Have a quick look at the enemy. Who are headed away, and yeah, that's actually a reasonable battleship for once. Bit of a weird gap there. Pretty sensible heavy cruiser, apart from this weirdness. Light cruiser is a pretty standard thing. And. Yeah. Gunboat destroyers. Okay, should be interesting. Especially with them heading away from us. Let's head this way. And uh, let's get to fighting. Uh, are you talking about the battle cruiser there, Alaric? Uh, that is a standard secondary barbette. That just looks really weird placed there like that. Yeah, how how do you get in and out? I've no idea. Maybe a little door and then a, a like a a la ladder inside or a stairway inside. It's very very strange. Meanwhile, on a more sensibly designed ship. <laughs> parachute drop. Yeah, pretty much. Come on, fire. 
anticipation. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Quite a lot of fire coming in from the enemy. It looks like HE, which uh, probably means they can't hurt me very effectively, which is interesting. Are they still headed away, or are they doing something more sensible? No, they're going that way. I think we better uh, get ourselves in position then. <laughs> you thought of a funny challenge? We can do it next if you like. Of course, this is always a risk when you do these fleet battles, is that the uh, AI just decides it doesn't want to and leaves. Or it tries to engage in an extremely long-range gun duel which basically results in both sides losing all their ammunition. Okay, we took a hit there. Oh, they're using 18-inch guns as well. Fancy. Yeah, the sir, uh, the yeah, the the light ships are actually sticking to the battleships for once, which is nice. I'm gonna put both battleships on save for their main ammunition though, because you know one two percent, you're just throwing away ammo for no particular reason, really. You're you're literally sitting there. Move. Yeah, brilliant idea. Run up to the enemy fleet and stop. Hmm. Right. So, got one, two, three, four. Is that one a bit closer? That's one that cruises. Okay. Speaking of, we have the Pennsylvania, minimum ball kids. Okay. I do have tor torpedoes though. We have the Nevada back here. Standard TNT. They have lots of shells, so they can. Like, they've got 1,520 to my 819. So, I don't want to waste shells. The um, Patsuki just getting in the way. But it looks like the Kansas has strayed into uh, range of the battleships. Even one hit from those 18 inch guns probably absolutely destroy it. Thank you. Oh my word. Just fire H E at that thing. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Excellent. First blood to the Japanese. Right, what are those battleships doing? Are they coming around? They are coming around. Time for us to come around. 
Fortunately, uh, these things, well, not terrible, but they're not exactly speedy. American ships are much faster. What's their accuracy like? 4%. If we wanted to target the Texas, 11%, that'll do. Are they 176 million to a 173? Okay, uh, destroyer. Oh, they've accidentally gone into a battle line somehow. How did I manage that? Silly destroyers, right. Hmm. Not a lot of hits. They're certainly scoring hits back on me because they have a lot more guns to fire at me. There we go. Any long range torpedoes. I'm not sure what those have come out from. Oh, it looks like the destroyers, which are now which are running pretty low. Interesting. Kind of annoying how I'm not hitting anything at all. There we go. Another hit on the Texas. And another one. Cruisers, I don't know what that battle cruiser is doing. Uh. I know, tempt, tempt the, I did tempt the RNG gods, didn't I? <laughs> but it's good. It's rare to get a an even fight like this from the AI. In fact, this is entirely unfair on to me because they have five battleships which are more expensive than mine individually so it's a 2v5 uh, Texas though has taken pretty heavy damage what kind of uh, range finders they're packing yeah they've got the stereoscopic ones Range on the torpedo. Oh, we have sent some torpedoes out. Screening ships, target the Nevada with your torpedoes. Just if you get the chance. 
speaking of the Nirvana, is she coming at us or going away? Can't tell, but it might be worth retargeting her in a minute. Actually, it's just I think the whole American fleet has turned. Time for us to turn as well. does look like they're going home, doesn't it? That's the that's the problem I'm finding with uh, AI fleet battles, is the AI is programmed to basically engage at long range, but what that ends up meaning is that neither side can hit the other because the accuracy is so terrible. Like... I'm going to retarget the Nevada. I've actually got a better chance of hitting her. Texas is annoyingly too far away now. What? Oh, you got hit by a 9 inch gun. You at least fired, fired some torpedoes in their direction. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, getting ricochets. Look how many ricochets I've gotten. 30. Just hard when the uh, angle of engagement is not, not a good one. I mean, we are doing damage to the Nevada. Just nothing particularly serious. She's uh, turning tail and running again. off wait and see what the Americans are up to running away This is, a, this is one of these really frustrating battles. Because you could probably get some hits in on the Mississippi here. It's the only one... Yeah, there we go. The only one that's actually, you know, doing something normal. They've zagged again. Just this endless zigzag dance. I 
Alright, you're uh, pretty badly hurt. You can uh, retreat. Like, no effort to attack with the destroyers. Uh. Yeah, there should be a disengage, like, a clear disengage thing. See, they're not actually disengaging. All they're doing is they're just trying to keep me at bay. And because they're faster than me, I can't close in to a decisive engagement range. Uh, the Texas, though, has come forward, which is nice. So we might be able to get a couple of hits in on her. Do, 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 do. Why is the AI going to do this? I know. It is actually, however, the AI's best bet is to keep me at bay, um, constantly try and disengage, use long range attacks. It just doesn't, it's just not fun <laughs> for me. So many ricochets, which is unreal. Yeah, Texas has just got that angle on her now where it's going to be very hard to uh, do anything. So I'm just going to wait for the AI to decide what it wants to do. Because you know, I'm I'm I've fired a lot of shells. Uh, yeah, we fired fifteen hundred shells. You know, six percent, six and a half percent actually hit. Doop -de doo Ah, there we go, an actual proper hit. I mean look at look at the Texas all red everywhere. But no, the rest of them are just going away. Oh my word, look at that, 1%. Yeah! Something happened, we killed a heavy cruiser and a... and a battleship. Um, we can call that a win. And I'm just going to tell everybody to disengage. Uh, detach, everybody. And everybody retreat. We need more shells, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I mean, that is a fairly realistic type of engagement. It's just not a very interesting one for a video. So I do apologise. 
ladies and gentlemen, not the most exciting battle today. But I'm pretty sure we can disengage successfully. The uh, Matsu Matsuzaki or Matsukaze Matsukaze taking a bit of damage. Uh, did they lose a destroyer earlier on? I can't remember now. Uh, but they've lost a heavy cruiser and a battleship and another heavy cruiser. There we go. I think we can call that a success. Yeah, it doesn't look like the Americans are trying to pursue. We did do a little bit of damage to Mississippi. And there was another one that we damaged as well, the Nevada. Sunk the Texas and a couple of heavy cruisers. Oh, I can live with that. Not the decisive victory Japan was looking for, though. Just a failure to... I mean, basically, the problem is the these ships are too slow. 26 knots is not enough um, to uh, catch the Americans. Just not enough. Anyway, bit of a different one today. Hope you enjoy that. It was a good looking ship anyway. Um, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye bye.